Hey guys, this is Daniel Dr. D, and I'm going to share you uh, my experiences using the Magnapan 1.7 Is, which are the latest uh, version, to the uh, Magnapan LRS Plus, which are also the latest version of their, their entry level uh, into Magnapan. And uh, this has been an extremely interesting experience. And if you are on the fence about debating which way to go with this, uh, I tell you, uh, this is really going to surprise you. So, uh, I can only speak for myself, you know, my opinions based on my listening experiences in this room. I'll tell you a little bit more as we proceed. And, uh, currently these speakers retail for about $3,100 with the metal rails on the side. So roughly 3000 and the other S plus retail for about a thousand dollars. So a third the price you get for the LRS Plus, okay? Now, in this reviews, uh, review, I use my Earhard Audio uh, preamp, two preamp, in conjunction with the Shit Vidar 2. Now, you'll notice the top here, I took off the top because it was getting hot and it uh, shut down. So there's a safety mechanism in there. It just shuts it down if it gets hot because I was playing it for long extended periods of time at points of, you know, pretty loud volume. And once I removed the top, it just, all the heat was able to dissipate and there's no problem whatsoever. So it worked beautifully without the lid. Obviously, this is not safe uh, to do. Uh, you know, you don't want anybody touching it or anything like that. So just an FYI. Uh, I used the uh, leak transport and whatnot, but mainly the ear hard for the preamp here because... Compared to the Pass 3, the Pass 3 has lower uh, gain. So you can never have enough gain, I think, for mandipans, you know, so the more the better. And uh, I like the uh, Aretha for that reason, so it's, it's really nice. So, for example, I would have at 9 o'clock uh, on the Aretha, I'd have to put it, the Dynago Pass at like 12 o'clock to get roughly the same volume. Now, some may think, oh, that, then it's not as good. No, not, not the case, because I actually prefer the lower gain with the uh, Heritage speakers. So for the Magnapans, the higher gain worked uh, favorably. So it's just matching the components is really more the issue. It's not necessarily this preamp is better than that preamp. And uh, you can see in the room here, they take up, you know, a lot of space, uh, you know, here, and they need a lot of space to breathe, you know, which is what brings me to the next uh, discussion here, which is how they actually compare to one another. Now, you have to remember, originally, the Magnapans were tested at the studio, okay, where we do some of the other reviews, Bob and I, and uh, I brought the LRS Plus over there to evaluate them. But I just found that in that particular room, the Magnapan 1.7Is were, worked favorably, and rightly so in that size room. Now here, I have both the 1.7Is and the LRS Plus set up together, okay? And this is where things really get interesting, okay? Now, the ribbons, which is kind of interesting on the LRS Plus, are actually like wider, each like metallic ribbon. And when you go to the 1.7i, each ribbon is like really thin, you know. But you know, when you look at the surface area, that is the area that the actual ribbons, uh, uh, the space they occupy, the, the real estate, they're actually not that different. It's just the frames on the 1.7i's are just significantly bigger. They're also taller because they have them on these wheels. I know some people are skeptical about using wheels, but honestly, these things just don't put out enough mass and base to, to move the thing. So I just don't, I don't really have any issue with that, although some people do. I don't know if it's psychological or what, you know. Uh, nevertheless, the, the thing that is really interesting is how much smaller the LRS Plus are and how easily they fit into this room. Now, I cannot stress enough how different they behave in different rooms. And uh, basically, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get into that, okay? I'm going to explain a little bit about that, okay? As far as the way they sounded, uh, you know, in this room, okay? The 1.7i's just need a lot of space in order to function. And the studio, I think that room's probably about 25 or 30 feet by about 16 feet 
This room is about 25 feet by about uh, 12 and a half, 13 feet. So it's a smaller room. There's more stuff in it uh, by comparison to what the studio is. Now, this is really going to throw you guys for a loop. I actually was really impressed with the LRS Plus in this room. In fact, I liked it significantly better than the 1.7i's. And uh, I was thinking about keeping these 1.7i's for myself, but after trying them, I said, no way. And uh, the way I did this comparison is I used the MagnaPan LRS Plus with the Rel T, uh, T0, which retails for about $500, roughly. So figure about $1,500 against the MagnaPan 1.7i's for over, a little over $3,000 if you consider these moldings on the side, these metal moldings. And uh, the shocker was how incredible the LRS sounded. The tonality uh, that comes out of these LRS Plus is velvety. It's smoother, it's sweeter, it's prettier, it's warmer, and it's denser. While the 1.7i's had this more, uh, it's like a edgy kind of sound. I think they have these like resistors or something they come with where you can uh, apply them. But, you know, you're going to have to do the work to do that. I, I, I don't know. I think that requires some soldering. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I never bother with it. But I was shocked how much better the LRS Plus were over the uh, 1.7i's. Now, the 1.7i's do deliver more bass. But that base can simply be augmented by using the Rel T0 with the LRS Plus. And that's what I'm going to say is that if you're going to do this and you have a room that's smaller, don't get a 1.7i. It's just not going to be big enough. Uh, or the room is just not going to... The, the 1.7i's need room to breathe. And it was just... There was not enough breathing space for those things. And I am telling you, regardless of price, the LRS Plus, in my opinion, based on my empirical listening experiences, hands down is better in a, in a smaller room. You just you you have more flexibility. The speakers are smaller. You have more flexibility as to where you can place them. And uh, I mean, it was just no contest. Now, I did add the Rel T Zero to the 1.7i's just to see, but still it didn't sound as good as the LRS Plus using the Rel T0. It was just mind blowing to me how much nicer they were. It's just, God, these things are just incredible. I cannot tell you, you know, at any price, it doesn't matter. I just still cannot express to you how incredible these LRS Plus are. And uh, it just got to a point where I was just not listening to the 1.7i's. Now, down here, you can see I have the Rel T0, and it just completely demolished the 1.7i's, um, whether, whether I used the Rel T0 with the 1.7i's or the 1.7i's alone. It, it just it didn't matter what it was. The configuration with the LRS Plus and the <clears throat> Rel, just there was no contest. Even without the REL with the uh, LRS Plus, I still prefer the LRS Plus. <laughs> they just have a sweeter... You know, it's weird. There's a there's something about the 1.7... It actually has this kind of hollow sound to it. I can't explain it. It just, by comparison, it had this almost hollow-like sound. Now, you may not hear anybody mention this, but that is just the impression I get when I listen to it here. And, uh, God, I just so impressed with the LRS Plus. And these are definitely keepers. They are just the kind of speaker just to have in your arsenal. Don't look for absolution, man. You're just never going to find an absolute speaker. If that were the case, I wouldn't have my heresies and I wouldn't have my fortes. You know, it's just in the end, it's nice to have a variety of speakers and that's the direction to have. That's the way you want to go with it, you know, in my opinion. The 1.7i is just too cramped in this room. I know a lot of people, you know, this is what really disappoints me about a lot of reviews. People don't put context to reviews. They, they, they almost ignore the room, how important that is and how, what a vital factor that 
plays as to how the speaker is going to sound. And, and in the end, inevitably, it has to be you that judges the speaker because it's your experience. Nobody else is there to hear it. You know, nobody's going to know. It's you. You have to hear it, listen to the tonality. Does it, does it do what you want it to do? And the only way to do that is by having just sitting down and having an empirical listening experience, you know, and, uh, yeah, I just can't get over it. Uh, you can see the 1.7i sitting in the back room, and that was pretty much the way it stayed after I spent, you know, time with, you know, both speakers and messing with them. Now, I think the, I don't know, the 1.7i's are rated uh, down to 40 hertz or something, and maybe 50 hertz on the LRS Plus. I don't even remember. I don't even care. You guys can just go online and look at that stuff up. A lot of people, you know, they, they get concerned about measurements and stats and all this stuff, you know. When the engineers make this stuff, they're, they're, you have to remember they're in these, these, these special rooms, you know, these chambers that they use to measure this stuff. And it's like, you know, once you put it in a room, you know, how do you know how it's going to sound, you know, unless you really try it? So, yeah, once again, 1.7 eyes are just colossal. I tried them, like I said, with the REL, still just the tonality of these things just didn't cut it. Uh, just not as sweet, not as pretty, not as warm, not as, ah, uh, man. I just, you know, here in the end, it's all about how it moves you emotionally. That's what it is. That's what it is to me. You know, these people, they try to take measurements. They try to find this mechanical answer for everything. And I just, I don't understand it. You know, when you listen to music, does it move you? You know, like Michael Jackson is a pop star. You think that guy is a mechanical? Hell no. That guy dances with his soul. You know, when he has that beat in his, in his soul, you can see it in the way he moves on the dance floor. That is not mechanical. That, you can't measure that. That is just spiritual. And that's the experience I want to have with music. I, I just don't care about measurements. I just care about my own personal listening experience. I know many will disagree with that. That's fine. But that's how I operate, you know, and uh, I'm telling you, man, from the bottom of my heart, you got to have an open room for these things. Otherwise, it just ain't going to work. So the LRS Plus, that's the way it is. Now, they have the middle ground one, which is the one point or the point seven I. You can consider that one. I used to have the point sevens, uh, not the point seven I's, but the point sevens. But I, I like the LRS Plus even more so. So I hope this review helped you guys out. And till next time, we'll see you.